what is up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel what is the vibe tribe okay let me tell you i have when you have a toddler in school the germs just keep coming at you this week <clears throat> the next week they keep coming at you you know and shout out to the summer summer shout out to the summer um my daughter did good you know like you know my daughter was homeschooled for a while after covid a year or two two years okay so she did not interact with the kiddos um until two years ago and when i say that i you know she is the first one that brought covid to our household and we all got it but um I knew that 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 was gonna happen because she had not been exposed to any germs for a while but all in all all right like toddlers school preschoolers oh baby it's a different ball game so you know I have learned how to continuously build up my son's immune system um, and it's not cheap it's not cheap because you know you, you a lot of these vitamins for everyone are filled with nonsense that will do nothing for you okay so you gotta like you gotta spend some money on the things that are high quality and that is what I had to do for my children um, because the rinky dink stuff the sorry but the Flintstone gummy and stuff like that if you take them and they work for you great but they do not work for my household they are not um, it's not more it, it, it's not that clean and if it's not that clean just it's the same as food it's not gonna work it's not gonna do its job really so with that being said you know I'm getting over whatever it is that <coughs> my household had don't know what it is um, my daughter did just go to back to the doctor yesterday she tested negative for COVID and whatnot but we've had COVID we had the flu uh, well I didn't catch the flu but my kids both of them had it but you know whatever okay summer come on spring okay because I know that the germs die down a little bit but all in all, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so right now. Support your girl on this journey that I always say is because of me because it is, right? Um, let's hop into this video because I, I wrote this video um, and I love writing videos. I love connecting with God and seeing where he wants me to go with my channel and whatnot. And that is in a lot of places, okay? So with this video, you see the title, How to Take Charge Over Your Life. I interacted with this person yesterday who said that you know where I where I work she said that I'm the boss and I know that she meant it from a different place because I love her soul she was like you're the boss you're the leader I'm gonna listen to you yada, yada, yada. and I'm like no honey you are the leader we are our own leader and this is the mentality that we have to have when we are at work whether you are the manager and you got somebody hired the CEO or whether you are a worker and you got a manager that's hired don't let I never let and I never will allow my manager or anybody that has a higher position than me, whether it's my job or whether it's just, you know, you have more than me when it comes to life, period. I'm never going to look at you as my leader. Now, should we have mentors and people that we look up to or we strive to be, you know, yes, absolutely. However, we are our own leaders. And the moment that we actually realize that we are in charge of ourselves, you know what I'm saying? is when we take our life back you are the leader we are to not follow anybody you know what i'm saying let, let me just let me let me tap into what i wrote with god okay how to take charge over your life number one we are to build a relationship with god building a relationship with god builds you it builds us tremendously okay so um, once we give God the full authority to have his way with us, he will. We have to literally every single day, we don't have to say it because sometimes we may forget. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to rush out the door, take my daughter to school, get my son ready for school, get myself. So sometimes I may forget to say, God, use me accordingly. I give you the power and the authority. And we don't necessarily have to say it every single day, but we need to really connect that with God. Like God, we got to tell him. And even though we may feel that way, we got to say it. You know what I'm saying? We got to say it. All right. So God will direct us. He will team up with us. Okay, 
And after that, we will do nothing but thrive. Absolutely thrive. When we team up with God, we will do nothing but thrive. And I'm not saying, let me, I'll keep going because I was going to say something else. Yeah, I was going to, I didn't even realize I wrote that next. But your storms will always be paired with a lesson and not a defeat. When we connect with God, team up with God, we, we're going to go through a storm because without a storm, we are not going to learn. We are going to um, just continue on with cycles and patterns that we need to break. So we got to understand that with everything in life attached to God, we will experience a storm. It may not be heavy. It may not be real, real bad, but our storm is a storm. And who likes a storm? I know that some people in the physical sleep at night. They love to hear it. But a storm... If it gets real rough or it has the potential to get rough, nobody likes it. But the fact is, is that when we go through a storm, we have to understand the lesson, that there is a lesson. And that if you're attached to God, you will never be defeated. You will look at every situation differently when you give God the full authority over your life. He is the only person that you are to give full authority over your life. The next person is you. It's not your husband. It's not your wife. It's not your children. It's God first and then you. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's tap on into number two. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate yourself and how you look. Unfortunately, looks in this world is everything looks is everything you go on social media it's about your aesthetic you go on to dating apps it's about your aesthetic you go out to get a job in the world it's about your aesthetic you go out to try to find um your partner at the church or it's always based upon your looks because our looks it's the first thing that people see i get hit on by a lot of men i get hit on by a lot of older men i get hit on by people who are attracted to my looks as well as you do it's not our soul, well, some for some people, if you are into it, you're connected to the, to the soul. But ideally, in this world, people are attracted to your look. They want to talk to you because you look good. They want to hire you because you look good. Yada, yada, yada. Okay? So we are to really, truly, truly appreciate how we look. And let's keep going. Unfortunately, looks are, um, in this world, everything. And if you don't love yourself, the world will make you hate yourself. If you do not love yourself, the world will make you hate yourself. It's happening every single day with men and women and boys and little girls who are looking and watching these perfect people on social media who are not perfect but pretend to be. They pretend like they got their body by walking out when they went under the knife. Nothing wrong with going under the knife. Do as you please. But when you portray yourself as having this body that you worked hard for, when you, you did not, you are sending signals to little girls and little boys that they will never achieve because they did not obtain what you did, what you're secretly hiding. This is when it comes to surgery, surgery, plastic surgery. It's okay, like I said, to have a BBL, to have your boobs done if you want to, but it is not okay to send false messages to little kids or even young adults or grown women that you worked hard for something that you did not work hard for. Because if you had surgery, there's no way that a, a regular girl's body is going to look exactly like yours. And I don't think a lot of people who are really working out naturally want to look like a person that has had surgery. Do you know what I'm saying? Um... But that's a different topic, okay? Don't watch this if you have had a BBL or something and, and, and throw, I think you are beautiful. I think you are beautiful. Why you had surgery, I understand it. I've been in this a place where I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like I wasn't beautiful enough and, and so much more. But I literally, really, really, really had to sit down with myself and appreciate myself and pour into myself to feel as beautiful as I feel today. Because I didn't feel that way every day. I thought, well, oh my gosh, yes, surgery sounds good, right? But to be honest with you, I was and still am a chicken, boop, boop, chicken. I ain't doing it. I've had two C-sections, honey. I ain't doing it. So shout out to them. But appreciate yourself and how you look. The world will make you hate yourself. The truth is we are all beautiful. All of us. 
all of our skin tones, our textures of the hair, our noses, our lips, our teeth. I used to, I didn't want to be on camera with my gap in my mouth. Mm -hmm, that gap right there. I didn't want to be on camera. I didn't think that I was worthy of being on camera because all I saw was people being, you know, put on a pedestal that had straight teeth. And even though my teeth are, they're, they're straight, I just have the space that I will close. Even though I still felt not good enough until I started to appreciate the gap that I have in my mouth. And if nobody else out there appreciates the gap that I have in my mouth, oh, fucking well. We're not supposed to be in the same crowd. You're not supposed to watch me. And that is a vibe in itself. Let's tap into it some more. We are all beautiful. White, black, brown. The world is false. They hated full lips one day. They hated big boobs one day. They hated white hips one day. They hated a lot that people are flexing right now. We cannot trust the world and its form of beauty. If we trust the world and mankind, we will lose and hate ourselves as they want us to. This is why they put a lot of people of non-color on these screens. They put really, really skinny girls on the screen. They put either a lot of plastic surgery on the screen because sickness sales and also body image sales. Stop trusting in a world that is false, that God created and people have taken advantage of. When you love yourself, queen or king, plastic surgery or not you are never a trend physically you only wear them and you don't even have to wear them but i'm saying to you our bodies are not supposed to be a trend we're not supposed to change our body according to what mankind says is beautiful at the time get the f out of here how you look now surgery or not you are beautiful don't think that you even got to change that if you had surgery because obviously there's something inside of you that wanted change you couldn't physically stand or 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 you didn't want to be in the body that you were in and that is maybe because the world is so full of shit. and i don't hate not hate you i don't um look i don't have any judgment towards people who had surgery because i know been there as i said before i wanted to be a certain way I wanted to be really, really skinny when I was in high school. Really, really skinny. That's a whole nother topic that I would get into. But yeah, let's tap into it tomorrow. Um, take care of yourself physically and you will begin to love yourself so much. Trust me. So number three, stop caring about opinions. This is how to take charge over your life. This is number three. Stop caring about opinions. Think about this. We are surrounded by opinions the day we are brought into this world. When we are in our mother's stomach, we are surrounded by opinions. Our mothers who are, who are carrying us are influenced by someone else's opinion. So we start to believe them. So much that we don't believe in the facts. The facts about who we are is with God only. God has told us in the Bible who we are, what we are capable of. And he has told us or will tell us individually. We got to stop leaving room for people's opinion. And we have to understand that an opinion is an opinion and a fact is a fact. And this is not two plus two or four plus four. This is your life. That someone that a lot of people have an opinion about when they don't even know themselves, when they don't even know how to control them, their own life, when they don't even know how to pray to God or have a conversation about God or how to be kind or how to be loyal. These people that we are listening to will do nothing but be a part of your downfall if we keep making their opinions a fact. God has told us in the Bible and individually, but with so much noise from the surroundings, we forget the truth and we end up falling victim to the opinions and lies of the, of the world. Opinions are meant to create confusion. They're meant to create. There's a lot of people in your family. There's a lot of people who you are surrounded by that are giving you opinions out there. 
knowing that it will cause you to go the the wrong way the wrong way knowing that they're giving you an opinion that they will never apply to their own lives they're low-key wanting to see you fall while you think that they're rooting you on. My advice is stop caring about others and care about God. His view of you is so much better. It will save you from overthinking about who you are, from overthinking about the position that you hold in his world. When you know you have God, you don't need anybody else. You stand in confidence. You are okay to eat alone, sit alone, be alone until God says otherwise. Number four, protect yourself each day. Protect yourself. And also, when you protect yourself, you are pre presenting yourself super, super, duper really well. Present yourself well, guys. This is not about, I'm about to put on my best gear for the world. This is truly, I want to look good because it'll make me feel good. The last one, go after every dream that you have, every dream, short, long, go after every dream that you have, because every dream that you have that is truly, truly from God, you are supposed to go after, you are supposed to accomplish, obtain, and then want and, and, and do more, you know, write down your goals, short, long, knock them out. It can be done. The only way that we have been taught that something is too big is by someone who gave you an opinion and not a fact. That is it for this video, my beautiful and kind souls. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so right now. Support your girl on this journey that I what's always says bigger than me because it is, darling. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.